What's up YouTube, it's Rhett back at it again with another video. Today we are talking about Python. Python is the number one most used programming language in the world now, and I think it's really important. A lot of my videos, you know, you're gonna need to know how to install Python, how to use Python to interact with some of these videos. So I figured I'd just make this video once, the fastest, easiest way to install Python on both Mac and Windows 10. That way, if you ever get stuck on any of my other videos, you can always come back to this video, watch it, figure out how to install Python, and you'll be good to go. So I'm gonna do this really fast because I don't wanna waste any of your time. So we're to try to shoot for under two minute installs on both Mac and Windows. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, first we're gonna do the Mac install. You're gonna go to brew.sh in your browser, or you're just gonna take this command that I've pasted into the description, and you're gonna put it into your terminal. You can open terminal if you hit command space and then type terminal. You're gonna paste that command, and then you're gonna put in your password, and then homebrew is going to install on your machine. Once you've installed Homebrew, you're gonna type brew install Python, and you can open a new terminal window to do this if the existing terminal window is giving you problems. Once you hit brew install Python, it's going to unpack Python onto your Mac. And that's basically all you have to do. So we're just gonna let this run, and then we will test to make sure that Python installed correctly. So there we go. So now Python is installed. That was about a minute, pretty quick. So now if you type Python or Python 3 in your terminal, you're gonna get a Python shell. You can do one plus one, it's gonna give you two. You can do print hello world, uh, and that's gonna work correctly. And then for longer scripts, you can type them into the terminal or you can open them in a text editor and I'll show you that in a second. So you can see here, just doing a simple if statement, print duh, of course Mac is better than Windows. And then if you wanna exit the shell here, you can just type exit. And so now I'm gonna open Sublime Text, but you could use any text editor on your machine. You just wanna make sure that you're saving the file as a .py Python file. So now in your text editor, you can just start writing Python commands. I'm gonna write the same script that I wrote just before there in the terminal. And then I'm gonna show you how to run this Python file from your terminal. So back in terminal, we're just gonna get into the directory that has the Python file. And we're gonna say Python, Python3 space the file name, and it's gonna run the command in the file. And that's it. That's how to set up Python on a Mac. Very quick, very easy. We went a little bit over two minutes here with the demonstration, but pretty simple. All right, now on to Windows. You're gonna to go to chocolatey.org slash install, or just copy this command that I'm gonna leave in the description. So you're gonna copy that command from chocolate and this is going to install the Chocolatey Package Manager, similar to Homebrew, except this is Windows exclusive. So if you now open your PowerShell, I tested this in command prompt and it didn't work, so you're gonna to wanna to use PowerShell. You're gonna paste this command and it's going to install Chocolatey for you in your PowerShell. All right, so Chocolatey's installed. You're gonna to wanna to open a new version of PowerShell now per the instructions that you just saw on the screen there. And now we're going to run Choco install Python. And this Choco install Python is going to install Python for you now on your local machine. It's gonna take the latest version. You can see it's 3.9.1 as of the recording of this video. And this is gonna take a while because it's actually installing a lot of different packages here, it looks like. So I'm gonna speed this up in post and we're gonna select A to that question there. Do you wanna run the script on all of these things? So it's gonna now install all of these different packages. It's gonna take a little bit. So I'm gonna speed this up and I will see you at the end of the installation. All right, so here we are at the end of the installation. It's just finished. It took about three minutes on my side, I think. Maybe five minutes, depending on how your machine is running. Uh, so what you're gonna wanna do here is you're gonna need to open, you can see my Python wasn't working there. So you're gonna need to open a new PowerShell again. And so now in your third PowerShell, you can just type Python. Python three wasn't working either. So if you just use the normal Python command, you'll get into the shell. You can use one plus one is two, uh, print hello world. Gonna do the same examples here. And then a longer script here with an if statement. So if Mac is greater than Windows, print I told you so. And now to run a file, you're gonna open Notepad. And then I'm just gonna create the same script that I just created there. I'm gonna create that in this Notepad file. And this is where you could write any Python script that you wanted to. So this is where you'd be doing your development. And so now at first I save this file on my desktop as the truth.py. And you're gonna to wanna to change save as type to all files so that it'll pick up the PY and doesn't save it as a text file. You actually can't run files from your desktop or I couldn't figure out a way to do it from PowerShell. So here's me trying to figure out how to CD to a desktop and it's impossible it sounds like. <laughs> I looked it up online and I couldn't figure it out. So it took me about 10 minutes to figure out that you can't run Python from the desktop or PowerShell at all. So I moved my file into a programming folder on my C drive. You can now run it with Python and then just the file name. All right guys, so that's it. Hopefully this video ends up being less than five minutes or about five minutes. Pretty quick installations on both Windows and Mac. Windows took a little bit longer, but I'm not as familiar with Windows, so it was a little tough. You had to reopen PowerShell. You couldn't really run the files from your desktop. 
If you're having a bunch of problems with Windows, I suggest that you just do what I did and go buy a Mac. Or if that's not in your budget or anything, I think definitely getting a Linux machine is gonna be really good for your development. If you're really stuck on, I wanna program on Windows, go ahead. Um, plenty of people do do it. It's just, there's stuff like this that can be a little more complicated. So hopefully this helped. Hopefully you got Python up and running very, very quickly. And so now you'll be able to go watch all of my other great videos about what you can do with Python scripts, the things in my life that I've automated, buying Bitcoin, automatically generating cover letters so that you can apply to 100 jobs a day, all sorts of great things. So go ahead, like the video if you learned anything or if you were able to install Python correctly. Comment down below if you got stuck at any point, I do answer all the comments and I'll do my best to help you guys out. And then subscribe for more tech, money, and success videos. They come out every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern. I love you all. Goodbye.